you know, so we're lucky because they're a bunch of boys. They've been doing it years. They know what they're doing. They know what they're looking for. So those guys are really good. But you can go and work on, as Misha was saying, you can go and work on an independent film or something where you have a crazy, out of control, control freak director who just is a nightmare from the get go and you have different ideas and it can be really difficult. Thank God Supernatural is not that show, but you can get a little bit of everything. You can get over controlling and you can get under controlling. But what I, what I like a lot is when you'll do something one way and they'll be like, awesome, print it. And then, and then they'll say, they'll come over and say, you know, okay, we have that. Let's do something completely different. Surprise me. Yeah. And then you can just go a completely different direction and then they have an option. I mean, as long as it's realistic, then it's, it's cool. Yeah, if you do a couple of different takes and you do it a couple of different ways, and again, that's the, the, the beauty of the director. If they're comfortable and they know you and they're comfortable talking to you and they say, hey, do you want to try one? Why don't we? Some directors go, they try two different things and then they say, now I want you to do one that you want to do. Anything you want to do. And it's like, okay, and very often they end up using that because it's very real for you. For on on uh, Supernatural, when they say, you know, Larry, we got that, let's do something different, I pretty much invariably have Cass whip his dick out. And then... <laughs> uh, he does. Shows it uh, off. It's all over the place. <laughs> but it's funny, now that I'm thinking about the episodes that I've seen, I don't think a lot of that has made it on. <laughs> a couple. A couple, yeah. Ladies! Get, get out the pot, man. It's the epic. Hey, you guys, do you know that, do you know that Julie McNiven's mic is not working? Oh, Are you guys aware of that? No, no, we just, the puppet, um, a couple of people the were freaking out. So we'll bring the puppet back in the hole. <laughs> no, 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 I'm talking about the mic. We had a success for it. Julie's oh, mic. yeah, Julie, does your mic now work? No. They were trying to fix it. No. That's fine, that's fine. Leave it like that. <laughs> okay, they're trying to fix it. They have little thingies over there. Okay, I'm, I'm pissed. Just let it ask. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm totally this. kidding. I don't care. <laughs> did we answer that question? I think we did. Yes, you did. Okay. Awesome. Good. Come on. Fantastic. You got a next question? All right, this question is for God. <laughs> God. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Misha, can you give us a little bit of insight? We got to see Sam when he was all juiced up on demon blood and be all powerful. Now, will Cassiel have kind of the same side effects or is he just juiced up forever? <laughs> well, let me tell you uh, everything that happens in season seven. <laughs> um, I mean, what do you do with that? <laughs> uh, yeah. You're up. actually juiced up on what do you juice up on? Oh. Souls. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking blood. I got confused. It's uh, it's called Supernatural. It's on Friday nights. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the vampires? Yeah. <laughs> um, when did you start sucking souls? <laughs> I sucked a lot of souls. <laughs> yeah, Cass became the big soul sucker at the end of uh, at the end of last season. You kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, There's a little in the middle. Um, so that he, he just sucked them all in, and and then uh, yeah, he's there are side effects. I will tell you that. Is it addictive? Can um, we do it? Addictive. Um, your soul? Do you have mine? No, I don't have yours. I don't have yours either. I didn't get those. No, no, no. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to keep track of your soul? <laughs> You're gone. Um, what? Oh, that means who? What? What? Sanders don't have souls? Jim Oh. oh. Trust me, it's not all. Uh, oh, next question. <laughs> yes. Um, thanks for partying with us last night. And just so you know, Sunday night we party just as hard because it's the last night. Oh, God. You guys go hard, man. Woo! <laughs> you know, you're talking to for this. Yeah, all, all three of you were partying with us last night, and I just wanted to say thank we you. We were? How do you know? 
the world. What are you talking about? <laughs> nothing at all. Nothing at okay. all. Okay. My question is for Misha. Um, is your face green? <laughs> She's got a hand on her head, though. It's silver. I'm R2-D2. I'm a robot. I know. Um, so, so my question for Misha is I wanted to ask you about uh, your work at NPR, and if you could talk a little bit about that, because last night you told me NPR was nerdy, and could you talk nerdy to me? Oh. Oh. That's feeling kind of sexual. She, oh, 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 something's happening. Oh, so oh, we can see what we're dealing with before. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, yeah. showing us her silver face. There we go. Yep. R two D two. I remember you now. With boobs. <laughs> NPR. Yes. Is that a star of David? Did R two D two have a star of David? <laughs> a Jewish art female R two D two. Of course. How did I miss that? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Please, Misha. Thank you for a second. Yes, I would love to talk nerdy to you. Um, uh, Noah Adams, Susan Stanberg, Linda Wertheimer. Yeah, is that doing something? Is that doing something for you? Yeah, all things considered. Yeah, give it to me, baby. What is NPR? National Pubic Radio. It's, um, it's yeah. Just, we're keeping track. Um, National. I, I I worked there in, back in uh, 1995, mm -hmm. and I um, I was a geek. I I loved. I was crazy about NPR for some reason, and. I knew everybody's names, and but but I'd never seen their faces. And uh, the kind of amazing thing about NPR, when you're at NPR headquarters in Washington D.C., is you see, wow, these people really do truly have faces for radio. Uh, there is a reason that they're not network television anchors. Um, don't tell them I said that. It's Susan Stanford, if you're in the audience, I, that's not about you. Um, Okay. Is, is that it? Okay. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> My question is for all of you. I was just wondering, what do you, was the most embarrassing moment on set? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, Julie just said, it's, Will you translate for me, please? Yeah, tra could you please translate? Oh, no, you... Yeah, there. I was just saying, I don't... I mean, I, You don't get embarrassed on that show easily. I don't really get embarrassed. Not there, you don't, know, because they're a bunch of rough and tumble boys. Like, if you farted, they applaud. Like, you know, <laughs> like there's... You can't get... They're very low maintenance, so I don't know and, how you can get embarrassed you, there. Like, the whole crew, everyone makes you feel really at home. Yeah. Very quickly. It's a big family. Um, which isn't like every other show. I mean, some shows, if you're on for one episode, you feel like a guest. Uh, you don't never totally feel comfortable, you know. But uh, the show, very quickly, and like I didn't know I was going to be there for six episodes or whatever. So um, when I got there, immediately I felt like part of the family. So I, I don't think I was I there. Because I remember everybody being like, "Wow, should Julie be so embarrassed?" <laughs> but evidently not. Um, <laughs> Embarrassing moment. Embarrassing. You probably have a few. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, you were there all there, predominantly more than Julian and I were. So consistently do more. Okay, you know what? I got a weird one, but it didn't really have anything to do with on set. They were shooting Twilight behind us, and oh. it was a really big deal for. Like we just thought, stick it up your ass. Like. <laughs> sound stages are all in the same area in Burnaby. It's all very industrial, and they've been using those other stages around us for years. They've never put up netting and, and you know, blackout blinds and stuff like this. And all of a sudden, Twilight come in there, and, and I know it was a very big deal. There were a lot of people rolling around trying to find them. Security was very tight, but they put up these huge blackout blinds between the fences, and if you knew Jensen and Jared, and the, they, they could not have cared less, so they're kind of 
shutting us off because we might see something, and I don't know if it was a paparazzi thing, or we might take pictures of one of them walking to set. Good God, could you imagine? <laughs> so they were just like, get over yourselves, you guys. You're not that important. And I remember I'm out at my trailer, and I'm, I think I've got my robe on, and I'm... And I want to seal the fence, because I just want to seal the fence. As I'm seeing this black outline, I'm like, what is on the other side? So I'm standing there, and I'm... Oh, I know what was embarrassing, the gun. That one. <laughs> 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 cleaner, guys. You know, I've got a robe on. I've got the other you know, underwear and my bra. And I'm bouncing up and down. One of the cleaner guys is in the window of one of the other things. And he's literally got a mop in his hand, and he's watching me. <laughs> You know, the gun, the gun episode was, that was embarrassing. The whole, I don't know if you guys heard about that. Jensen and Jerry talked about it. When I had the gun and I'm shooting and I'm doing all this and they're, everybody's ducking. Because I didn't know. I didn't know I never had a shotgun in my hand, not a real one. Do you guys know about this? That was embarrassing. Well, I'm trying to be all demon fighter, tough chick, and I've got my gun. And they give you a real gun. We were shooting, it was the last, it was as we're running into the hardware store where Joe dies. You guys know that, right? I'm not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spoiling it, and I, 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 you've got to really shoot them. And when, when real guns are on set, um, it's pretty intense. Like you've got to be careful. They've got a, they've got a security person there. Like they're real. I mean, this is how Jason Lee died, right? Wasn't that, it was Jason Lee. Yeah. I mean, they have to be really careful. So when they they show you the, 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 there's a really formal way of doing it when you've got real guns. And the boys are always carrying guns. And I've got this huge, huge shotgun. It's bigger than me. And, I'm, and so we, they show us what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna go bang, 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 and run off. And the one thing, the rule of thumb, when you've got a real gun, you've never pointed at anybody, never, ever. Even though it's not, you know, there's nothing in it, don't point at anybody, <laughs> he told me that. So I'm running along, and I'm like, so we go bang, 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 and I'm like, they kept jamming on me, and I'm like, it, it won't. And Jared and Jensen After that, <laughs> just my embarrassing story. Sorry, that got a bit long, didn't it? <laughs> Did you have one? Speaking of guns, <laughs> I hate guns in real life. I, I I get nauseous and I I hate them. I really do. But when we get to play with them on on, on set, well, not play, you know, that's for serious play. <laughs> um, I got to work with a huge semi-automatic recently. It was really fun. <laughs> It, it was awesome. I did uh, over 600 rounds, um, and I blew up the front of a house and a Lamborghini. Wow. It was really fun. I would totally do that again. Why did you get to do that all in one shot? Um, it was for uh, Nikita airing September 30th. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I play a character who's, um, uh, her brain's taken over. I, I tend to do these a lot. <laughs> People control me. That's the only way I can do stuff that's not cute. <laughs> I can get all psycho. Yeah, anyway, it's fun. Just watch it.